It's been a while, guys. Uh, sorry for the long wait. And um, despite me having the uh, not really longest wait ever to do a video. I have a good reason for it. I do have a lot of uh, schoolwork. And yeah, there's a lot of it that's pretty much happening at the moment. So that's why I've been lacking a lot of content. Uh, a lot of things that I have um, missed um, throughout the entire year. So uh, at this stage, uh, I'll do some small reviews uh, as of now. Because I really have to finish high school and uh, finish some documents for the uh, university that I might enroll somewhere in. <coughs> Europe. Uh, apologies for that. I do have a runny nose and everything. So, yeah, today we're going to be taking, uh, we're going to be reviewing some accelerations cars. But before we do that, I'll show you some of my old ones that I used back in my stop motion days. All right, uh, here we go. So, you have RD02, and that's what we used. Ooh, that was a little bit of a sneak peek there. It's kind of badly damaged. Well, not really, not in the best condition, but it's not in the worst. Cold flight appears often. Um, and Excelium. I mean, honestly, I don't really get why Excelium is kind of hated, but it's a pretty underrated car. Uh, I do I do bought a PAL driver, which is right here. A really expensive Accelerations model. I think it's around $40 or so back in the day, but... I got it for dirt cheap. This was pretty much used, but I we're not gonna review this today because today is a car that I had in my stop motion videos. But this car right here, RD zero six, is pretty scuffed. Uh, I know. Look at the damage on the body and uh, some of the rims. It's all black, no chrome, unfortunately. But not we're not reviewing this car. Um. Well, I mean, not that type of paint scheme, but the original one, but it's from 2006. Look at that. Beautiful co-molded wheels and pretty much a matte, entire matte body. Uh, even though there's like a little bit of a um, tiny bit of scratch there. I bought this for also dirt cheap, around $5 also. It uh, wasn't really that bad for a accelerations car like this. And pretty much, um, this is the latest one I've bought so far. It's a really cool car, a uh, really cool drone car. Uh, maybe, I do not know. I kind of love the appeal of the sort of sleek looking models in which I know I'm a open wheeler fan, but I think this drone is basically like somewhat of a uh, futuristic hot rod, let's say. But <sighs> this hot rod is like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you call it a hot rod, but it's also technologically advanced due to the fact that in the car gallery it says it's powered by a hydrogen engine, producing 502 horses um, with a carbon fiber monocoque chassis. Now I think there's like some clear differences. Maybe it's in the top tempo. Who knows? Uh, but the obvious difference is that. The base is black uh, compared to the one released in 2005 and also this uh, body is a matte finish. The wheels are technically small because these, they, uh, in the old RD06, uh, what is it, the first uh, edition one, it has like these si uh, wheel uh, rim, uh, wheel size. I, would not, I do not know why they actually had to reduce it back in like 2006 or something. I don't think it's... I don't think they were like saving cost back because they legit had time and effort to create this beautiful piece of art. Uh, the cutout logo is right there, as you can see, made in Malaysia. And this is a uh, Track Stars uh, logo you can see right there. Maybe this, it's not really that prevalent because due to the fact that it's black, but I could show you the one from RD02. Now you can see this is the track logo they used to have, um, but. If we're seeing the one from the uh, modern Hot Wheels, which is, I don't know, it doesn't really have that much effort to. They have this type of logo, except it's square now. Yeah, you can see right there, this logo is like, I don't know, kind of lackluster to me if I'm being honest. Compared to the one uh, that's like circular, even though this is barely visible. Oh yeah, there's my fingerprints right there, because... Yeah, I've been touching this car for a while. I'm not in a really sus context, let's just say, but 
yeah, uh, this car has been a while. Um, interestingly, the interior, the interior piece, or like maybe the second piece, because it's also like the outside of it, the brake. I think it's the brake ducts or something. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, or it's Zamac, oddly, but I think it's for a good reason for it to be balanced for the uh, tracks. But if you were trying to put this in a booster track, I suggest you shouldn't due to the fact that it's all uh, the the front axles are completely exposed. I will, I mean, I would love to, but the problem is, yeah, the front axles are pretty much exposed. Uh, same case for Excelium, but even though there are some guards like right here, let's just say you don't want your axles to be bent like this. <laughs> Oh Jesus, look at how ugly this thing is because my retarded self scratching it a lot, playing it too roughly. I'll take care of this gently, uh, so yeah, it should be fine. It should be in a mint condition, but not really due to the fact that this is a used one. It has a really paint, it's a, it has a paint chip there. It's not the Hot Wheels fault, but non nonetheless, it's a really cool model to collect. Uh, maybe if you want to get the RD, uh, you want to get the one that has like the silver base, which is the 2005 version, and the bigger wheels. You can go for it. Uh, don't really mind. Uh, whatever you want to collect, whatever preference you prefer, it's up to you. Uh, so let's just say, collect whatever you like, um, and enjoy what you have right now. So, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, these red dots, they look pretty cool. And maybe if the chrome paint in the rim is like fading away, uh, for me, I know it's kind of, and does actually fit pretty well with the uh, team transports uh, part from, maybe apart from Excelium. That big ass scoop right there. Vacuum inducted V8, they say, so. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much about it. Cool model to collect, um, great addition to your collection. Maybe it's gonna maybe it's gonna cost you around five dollars. Uh, the, maybe the minimum price point, but I have a feeling it might surge up. I'd say because accelerations are starting to get rare due to the fact that Hot Wheels Unleashed is around, and also this thing, this RD zero two right here, this price has definitely gotten up. So yeah, just gotta be um just keeping you guys uh, just keeping these uh, accelerations collectors. A little bit of a heads up, but I think everyone should know at this point because basically after Hot Wheels Unleashed is already available, people who are looking forward to get this car right here, they're going to have a hard time finding that. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not expecting too much. And yeah, it's a quick review of RD06. Let me know down in the comments and thoughts what you think about this model right here. And... Yeah, uh, I'll see you guys maybe in a next video where I'll maybe do a Desert Realm stop motion. But we'll see if I'm not busy and if, if, if I have more free time. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Adios. You know, I almost forgot to mention that the earlier prototypes of RD06 doesn't have the uh, spoiler at the front. And one of the initial designs uh, for RD06 is that there was no fins at the back. Um, there were only like, okay, so there was no front wing and the fins, but then they kind of changed it last minute, probably. And also the, uh, basically the earlier prototypes were using the hot hubs uh, wheels before they even used the cobalt wheels. I forgot to tell that info, so uh, my bad.